You're calling from a 509 area code. Who are you? Where are you calling from? This is Ethan. I'm calling from Seattle. Hey, Ethan. What's on your mind? I just got a couple of things. I thought I'd call into my uh, my favorite Minecraft Twitch streamers to bring up. <laughs> <laughs> Thank anyone, you. Anyone else? Uh, oh, it was great. Anyone else is in Seattle today at uh, 6 o'clock downtown on 2nd. There's a protest against ICE at their headquarters awesome. right downtown. If you're getting off work, it'll be 6 o'clock. Show up. Uh, show these ghouls, you know, like they, they say uh, Seattle's supposed to be like really progressive. Well, like, let's show them what that means. So get out there and protest ICE today, uh, downtown on 2nd. Awesome. Um, yeah. And then the other thing is uh, my boy Jay Inslee was doing pretty good last night. He I did. I was pretty happy with him as my governor. Props to Jay Inslee. Uh, he good was job right. last night. He was right in contrast to someone like Tulsi Gabbard. He, de- as governor, he did come out ahead of the pack. And he, and he said, uh, you know, yeah, Syrian refugees bring to Washington. We want them. So he's been good on that. He's been good on some other stuff. It, it, it's not going to make like a debate sizzle reel, but I also thought he had one of the best hits on Joe Biden, which was his climate plan. Yep. It was it, Nothing illustrates Joe Biden's complete inadequacy better than that moment to me because Inslee said, hey, you know what? Guess what? Like your climate change plan, it actually won't do what we need to do. It won't eliminate carbon. It won't, you know, pivot to alternative energy. And Biden's response was like, oh, yeah, well, how do you feel about electric car charging stations? <laughs> yeah, like, I got where, 500 where electric energy? car. I got 500 places you could plug your Tesla. Do we, uh, after the call, yeah. do we have that so we can, because I would like to make a clip of that because I agree that let's get to that after the call because Inslee definitely deserves a clip and props for that. I agree. So my only question for you is, and, and look, you know, these are, it's tricky because everybody's got their own. I think in the big picture, I know in the I'm you know in the big picture, you have to deal with capitalism. You have to transition to a post-capitalist thing, and I'm not talking about some type of super idealized you know world. I think it will still share a lot of traits of the world today. But if you don't fundamentally go at the market mechanism, there's going to be elements of the climate and ecological crisis that are just simply incompatible with limitless growth. Mm-hmm. And that incentive, right? And I say this to say that yeah. one of the reasons that I've sort of not been as generous to Inslee is I had somebody, uh, and now it's ridiculous because I don't remember who, but it was somebody from Washington State who I, it was a credible opinion, and they basically said, look, the guy's state record does not match his national ambitions. Yeah. And I always, and you know, look, that's the case. Jerry Brown, right, is de Blasio. a guy. Well, certainly de Blasio, and that's 100% de Blasio. I know for a fact de Blasio's, I mean, housing, gentrification, policing. Bill de Blasio as mayor is not Bill de Blasio as a presidential candidate. But even a guy like Jerry Brown, Jerry Brown's done some real work on incentivizing clean energy that's significant. He has Mm -hmm. a terrible record on drilling and fracking, and he has no vision of environmental justice. In fact, in some ways he's been quite reactionary and regressive, even as he's centered climate, like no other frontline politician. So what is Jay Inslee's record really like as governor on, on ecology? I agree with you on refugees and immigrants. He's definitely stood out. Yeah. And he deserves more props generally in the race, but what about environmentally? Yeah. yeah I have heard some criticisms of Inslee from the left about like, I don't recall if it was like a carbon tax or there, there was something at the state level he wasn't great on. I, I myself hesitate to articulate those criticisms just because I'm not particularly mm-hmm. versed in Inslee's state record, to be totally honest. Yep. I don't follow it as closely as I really should. Like, I have been paying attention. I do know those criticisms exist. And Inslee, like, he's definitely, like, of the machine. Like, he was the head of the Democratic Governors Association. Like, he's, he's like a Democrat in good standing with the party, for sure. And, like, I'm definitely a Bernie guy. Yep. But, um, you know, may, maybe I'm not sure if I'm you know, quite as up on his eco- ecological record at the state level where I could, you know, accurately talk to that. Like I say, he's been good on other things. Like I, I noticed when he does good stuff, like, you know, he put a hold on the death penalty. Like, I think we still have the death penalty he's on the books. Definitely is one of it's the just f- like as long as better people running for president. I mean, pretty obvious. Just him crowbarring climate into every debate is yeah. absolutely worth like a $15 donation in my mind. I, I would like to see him on the stage instead of yeah. Amy Klobuchar telling me that I can't uh, get, yeah. you know, college without a savings account, tax advantage savings account. 
I mean, that's yeah. another reason in which these yeah. metrics are so dumb. Like, I, you know, I obviously I wouldn't trust the Demo- Democratic committee can't make these decisions. And we saw the total ridiculousness of how they treated Gravel. But it's like if we had a somewhat mature civic culture and, a, and an independent non-corporate media, you might just even have the capacity to say, you know, like, OK, yeah, Biden has no ideas, but he's the front runner. So he's up on stage. And then people like Inslee, like, yeah, you're just in the debate because you're you hold an important office and you're actually talking about really important stuff. And every other metric is irrelevant. Yeah. Right. Like uh, he he yeah. is the only I mean, I guess de Blasio to a degree, but it's very funny to me. Like, you know, you have. You know, Delaney and Klobuchar and Hickenlooper mean nothing, are nothing, and are simply irrelevant bag people for a totally discredited system. And, uh, you know, Inslee, yeah, yeah. I mean, Inslee's, Inslee definitely, yes, he deserves, he deserves props. I just want to know more about what his actual yeah. record is. Yeah. All right, let's... I definitely welcome that sort of inquiry into his background. But, you know, as far as Washington Democrats go, he's certainly better than, like, our Seattle mayor, so... You know, I, I I I hope this at least is a springboard for him for the ecological portion of, That's of his great. campaign. So. I agree. Thanks, Ethan, for the call. Let's play this. This was also really important. Jay Inslee, who again, I agree with Brendan. I think you, you know, look, the broader systems of how you deal with the ecological crisis is incompatible with the quest for unlimited growth. There's bigger things that need to be dealt with, and at the same time, you needed a candidate who centered climate, and by the way, a candidate who also centered climate, there's not a single time that Jay Inslee doesn't talk about taking on the climate crisis, that he doesn't talk about union jobs, that he doesn't talk about broader systems to take on this crisis. And he is the only candidate that is an elected Democratic office holder who's polling at 0% and not generating any excitement, who's actually talking about serious ideas and real problems. And I have to also just, by the way, say in a you know, a very good natured way. I mean, to the extent these things matter, you have this innate repulsion from a Hickenlooper, Delaney, or Klobuchar. Yeah. Inslee definitely comes off as very decent. Decent. I was and very, say that, yeah. yeah, a lot of decency. And I agree with you. And I think, you know, maybe in some ways the lack of flash is holding him back. But this is true. He scored a big point on Biden last night on climate. And again, you know, Biden's lack of anything is a huge problem on human lives when it comes to criminal justice, when it comes to uh, reproductive rights, when it comes to health care. When it comes to climate, I mean, how does this pretend middle way work? It doesn't. Jay Inslee laid it out. Would there be any place for fossil fuels, including coal and fracking, in a Biden administration? No, it would be, we, would, we would work it out. We would make sure it's eliminated <laughs> and no more subsidies for either one of those. Either any fossil fuel. We Thank can't. You. We cannot you, work it out. We cannot work this out. The time is up. Our house is on fire. Right. We have to stop using coal in 10 years. And we need That's a president to do it or it won't get done. That's get off I'm, coal. Save this country and the planet. That's, That's what, what I'm I, for. Would there be any place? For- no, he's good. And, and Jay Inslee really... Especially, even at this point, frankly, because he's not a top contender, even regardless of the full extent of his record. And if local journalists and activists want to document it and help their own cause in Washington, that's great. For purposes of this campaign, he is absolutely, he's doing a world of good centering this. Yeah, like you can say it's just rhetoric. On the other hand, this is very useful rhetoric if you want climate change to get addressed because what happens is is this allows someone like Bernie or Warren to go farther with climate than they would otherwise. That and he's positioning himself well for a cabinet position. Definitely. Where if you get a Democrat in and he's not head of the EPA or the Interior or something, it's going to be people going, what are you doing? Right. Also, just a fun fact, part of uh, Biden's uh, climate plan that he touted last night was uh, doubling the amount of offshore wind turbines. We currently have uh, five, so he would make a 10. (laughs) That is the most perfect. That is the most perfect distillation of Joe Biden. Contagious chameleon. Criticizing the media for using right-wing talking points has the same type of work that liberal media does when the right uses that frame. 